Hey there, happy Tuesday. It's Miles from Superior Lending. Wanted to get to show you guys the rate update. Um, here's where we're at. We're moving sideways on things. Rates are still great. We are still waiting for this bottleneck with our servicers to get resolved. Um, they came out with an idea today that uh, provides a little bit of relief for the servicers. Um, it just basically says if a borrower misses four months of payments because of forbearance, after the fourth payment, the servicer is not required to keep paying. So it gives a little relief, but it isn't quite what servicers were looking for. So we'll, we'll have to watch and see what happens there on things. Um, hopefully you've been talking to your clients about forbearance, making sure they understand it, understand the implications of it. It can be a very serious thing. Um, it will prevent them from getting a loan while they're in for forbearance. Um, they also need to make sure it does not affect their credit on there. But so today I wanted to talk to you about this. Let me, I'll make it a bigger screen. Okay, rates look fabulous. You can see they are still at near all time lows. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about borrowers, not cash buyers, but borrowers that get paid with cash or have their down payment in cash. Um, you think those people don't exist anymore. Everybody uses banking. Well, I just had a client who all of a sudden sprung on us that they had their down payment in cash. They also take their paychecks and they don't deposit them into their account. They cash them and then just live off of that cash. That can cause serious problems for a lender because how do you paper trail cash? Um, it puts us into a situation where that client either has to deposit those funds and wait two months for bank statements so that those, uh, those cash funds are sourceable. I don't know if that's a word or not or they have to then turn around and find a family member who can gift them the down payment funds, closing cost funds to be able to close their loan. So uh, ask your clients, hey, do you have money in your bank account or is it stuffed in your mattress in cash? If it's in cash, they need to start talking to a lender and figuring out how they can solve that. Um, it, it seems to pop up more often than it should, but just be aware of what a, somebody with cash can kill a deal. Okay. A V, a U, an L, a recovery. Think about this. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little chart here. Let me get back to my screen here. So these are some experts in the industry that are saying, hey, we are predicting that we're going to come out of this uh, downturn or this recession like a V. Uh, I love that Goldman, JP Morgan, um, and Morgan Stanley are predicting a V. I think this is a great chart that you guys can share on social media so that you can start giving people confidence here and let them know, hey, this, this is going to be all right. Um, some people think that it's going to be a U which means we'll be down for a long time. And other people think it's an L where we drop down and we stay in a recession for a long time. Um, I don't agree with that. I think we're going to come out of this fast once it starts turning. And I think it will be a V just like Goldman, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley are all predicting. But share this on social media. Um, help people have confidence that things are going to be great. They're going to be good. We are seeing a lot of purchase activity going on every single day. We are getting new contracts, people going under contract to buy new homes. Um, there is a flurry of business going on right now. It's a great time to be buying rates are fabulous. So I uh, hope you're thriving, not just surviving. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.